if you're looking to add exposure, I would be a little bit cautious here about adding exposure just simply because again, we've been up eight days in a row. It's been a very big advance. It's been the biggest advance for the Dow in like three years. So a very, very big advance across the board. So just a little bit overly done here, just in the short term. So if you need to add exposure, look for a day or two where the market kind of pulls back, consolidates a bit, maybe works off some of this overbought condition. Okay, here's what you need to know before the bell this morning. We talked about this correction over the, you know, previously back in April, we had the correction kind of bounced off support. We were running along that 100 day moving average as support. We said, hey, if the market breaks above the 50, uh, that's gonna potentially set us up to retest highs. That's exactly what we're doing right now. We're, we're back here to testing these highs from March. Futures are up a little bit this morning. We're likely to kind of struggle in here for a few days. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the market's been up now for about eight days in a row, uh, more or less. So again, we've, we've just had kind of a, a very big surge coming off that support. We had that correction, buyback window opened back up as we talked about, that's led to this big surge of buying. So on a solid buy signal right now, markets are back to overbought. So again, uh, I would expect this market to kind of just a few days, right? Just kind of struggle here a little bit, maybe not make much of an advance. But again, if we can take out these highs uh, where we were back in March, then uh, there's no resistance above that. So the market can certainly climb higher. Uh, the month of June and July tend to be fairly decent months um, in election year. So again, there's, there's really not much capping the market from moving higher here other than just very, very overbought short term. But again, you can remain overbought for longer than you expect. And with the buy signal coming uh, from a fairly low level, there is upside potential here. So again, no real, real reason to be overly risk averse at this point. Make sure that you have your exposures where you need them. I would wait if, if you're looking to add exposure. I would be a little bit cautious here about adding exposure just simply because again, we've been up eight days in a row. Uh, it's been a very big advance. It's been the biggest advance for the Dow in like three years. So uh, again, a very, very big advance across the board. So again, just a little bit overly done here, just in the short term. So if you need to add exposure, uh, look, you know, look for a, a day or two where the market kind of pulls back, consolidates a bit, maybe works off some of this overbought condition. Again, I wouldn't expect a lot. Uh, the, the bullish trend, as long as this MACD buy signal is in place and is rising, the, the, the push will be for higher asset prices here, at least in the short term. But again, you know, a, a day or two where the market gives you a pullback or, or some position that you're looking at gives you a, uh, an entry point, that's where you want to take advantage of it. Just again, just kind of be a little bit careful how you, how you do here, because again, we are just a, a bit extended. And again, no, no big deal here. I mean, again, uh, the bullish trend very much in place. There's not a lot at the moment that should undermine that, with the exception of, a hotter than expected inflation report. If that inflation report comes in this week, much hotter than what expectations are, that'll certainly give us a pullback in asset prices as markets begin to rethink uh, the ability of the Fed to cut rates. But that's your risk for the week. And so we'll be watching that very closely. Of course, we'll talk about it when it occurs and we'll go from there. All right, that's what you need to know before the bell this morning.